progress is the key to happiness. It is. Progress in any way. It's yep. uh, it's one step, it's one leap, it's a sprint. It's just any progress is required for someone to be fulfilled and happy. You know, I've recently become aware of the fact that I'm addicted to progress. Yeah. And I really think that progress is where happiness and fulfillment ultimately come from. And challenges are what create the opportunity for the growth that's required for that progress to take place. The most advanced evolved version of ourselves is by setting our actions up in such a way where we are continuously making progress. And the reality is you're exactly right in 2019 that it has never been easier to make progress, but it is still easier not to. <laughs> that's the whole point of, of self-awareness is understanding those potential weaknesses, but understanding the things that you need in order to progress and the things that you need in order to get things done and being willing to put those processes in place to make it happen. Um, because what's the alternative? If you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. You're going to be in a life where you're literally moving backwards forever. And so if the goal in life is to constantly be moving f forward, because I truly believe happiness is created through progress, that I don't know any other way to create and force progress other than having structure and boundaries to create that discipline that you need to get things done. And, you know, it's certainly not easy, but, you know, just simply having a personal trainer and knowing that they're going to be there at 4.30 a.m. That's why I would wake up at 4 to get down there. Like, just because I know there's someone there waiting for me. You know, just little things like that. Um, you know, having an accountability partner that'll really, really hold you to the things that you say you're going to do. Um, not wanting to let that person down. It doesn't have to be some gigantic structure like 75 hard. It can just be one or two things that you are promising yourself that you're going to do every day, but that you have someone or something that's going to call it out if it's not done. Progress is the key to happiness. It is progress in any way it's yep. uh, it's one step it's one leap it's a sprint it's just any progress is required for someone to be fulfilled and happy even like my parents who are perfectly like they're meant to live in ohio yep. and raise a family they've been together since high school yep. this is what they were meant to do they don't ever regret not moving yep. to la but they still want to be better parents, better cousins, better mm -hmm. aunts, better. And there's just, everyone wants to be better. Mm -hmm. And you, it's just the fact that like you can be, like you'd be shocked at how yeah. easy it is to be the world's best aunt, Yeah, you know, and, yeah. and mom and this and that. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think that I've just found such happiness from moving forward and progressing. And it's one of those things where maybe I'm a little out of pocket, but I feel like I've found this thing and everyone that I meet, people like you and all these people on the podcast have also found it. Yeah. And it's so awesome. It's like the world's best drug yeah. and you just want to share it with everyone. Yeah. And there's like, trust me, man, you can move forward. You can be a better version yeah. of you and you will be so much happier when you are. And I, and I just think like that will, that solves so many problems, not world peace, not nothing. But man, I've seen so many people turn to drugs and to yeah. alcohol and to violence and then you spiral and now you're in jail and now you're doing this and now you're beating up your girlfriend and whatever, getting a DUI because you just didn't take the step forward. Yeah. So life pulled you back yeah. downwards, right? So like, I like the idea of having complete control over my own future yeah. to, to create progress, just to like move forward. Like I can't control the market. I can't control whether a seller calls me right now screaming, saying he's pulling out of a deal. I can't control when I was acting. Yeah. Like if I walked into an audition and they were like, I sorry, thanks for waiting for six hours, but you're too tall. Or you are, how old are you? You're 23 at the time. You're prematurely gray. Now that's weird for us. We don't even care. I'm like, but I could diet. What do you want from me? Like that stuff I can't control. But as long as I'm moving forward and focusing on progress every day, leading towards being successful, then I know I'll be happy yeah. and my passion will be in progress. Like yeah. my passion isn't, and people ask me this all the time. They're like, why do you love real estate? I'm like, I, 
I don't really love real estate. Sure. Like I, I'm dead honest about that. Like yeah. I don't, I don't walk into this office and I'm like, ooh, the exposed brick. I, I think it looks cool. <laughs> like I think the aesthetic is cool. Yeah. It makes it worth the money we pay on rent. Sure. You know, I don't walk into houses and I'm like, ooh, crown moldings and fireplaces. I know that they're good for the deal. Yeah. I know they're good for the listing. But I, I'm far more passionate if you will, about like the progress of what this office is gonna do for my life, like what that listing is going to do for my business. Yeah. You focus on that, like that is what's gonna breed success. It's the optimization and the efficiency. It's, it's, such, it's such an important message for people to hear is, yeah. is progress because, especially someone that's just starting off in a career, sure. is figuring out that any progress is progress. Yes. And if you become obsessed with that, then it's really just about basically living up to your full potential. Like, yeah. how can I create my full potential? And once I Which feel like I'm getting- fear in life. Well, yeah, exactly, that's exactly what I was about to say. And once you feel like you're getting somewhere close, realizing that it's actually way, way further down the road. Yeah. Uh, and I think a part of uh, realizing your full potential is the, the reality that every single day there is no neutral. Sure. Like, like biologically, we will create ways to not be able to stay the same sure. because we're made to fix things, we're yeah, made yeah. to solve problems. And it takes the same amount of effort to have that little bit of progress in a day than it does to actually stay the same in a day. True. And that's what I want people to understand so much is that it's just one positive thing today. Yeah. If, if you feel like you have nothing that you can do to get you to where you want to go today, like one video that you can watch that you learn something in, sure. one book that you can read that you can learn something and grow uh, is so important. And so it's almost like if we, if we narrow down to the actual definition of a sales wolf that hunger but it's like a insatiable hunger like it's a a constant hunger every single day no matter what you got to eat the day before and it's that continual progress like for me I, you know, happiness fulfillment like it's all about progress but that hunger is what gets you up in the morning to attack and create that progress but knowing that just like you said getting a bonus getting to the mountaintop it's being excited to get to the mountaintop so that you can see what the other one looks like. That's right. And understand that the next one's gonna be taller, it's gonna be more treacherous, it's gonna be more difficult, but being the hunger of being able to not only see it, but literally that fire you up. That like, yeah, I'm glad I got here, but I'm even more glad that now I get to go there. And knowing that when you get there, it's, it's just a continual, it's the rest of your life. If you find your worth in what you do, if you find your worth in the things that you produce, then you'll never have fulfillment because as soon as you hit that goal, it's just, what's the next goal. As soon as you, you know, earn that income, it's just, what's, what's the next income. As soon as you get that car, that, you know, all that, all that stuff, it, it, it doesn't end. And when you're in the middle of it, you can, you, you always think it does like, oh, well, no, but when I get there, like then it'll be all, it'll be all great. I can rest and I can, I can be at peace, but I'm just going to hustle until I get there. And it, you just realize that it never happens ever. It's all about your ambitions. And so if you want to do extraordinary things, you just have to understand that it's going to take an extraordinary amount of effort and it's going to take an extraordinary pace of growth to achieve something extraordinary. And so it depends on what your ambitions are. If you're trying to do incredible, just unbelievable things, then you are going to have to be a person that is able to handle a higher pace of growth.